So just as a reminder, your part of fortune is where you can focus to bring harmony to your entire incarnation so that you can bring about the intent with which you took it. Just to remind you, you are essentially an angel or a spiritual being. You took this incarnation, you selected it because it offered you an opportunity to channel the universal will in a certain way that would be useful to you in your development through many incarnations. So the part of fortune aligns your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. And the sun, of course, is where your spiritual self comes through and sort of peaks through your incarnation uh, now. And then the moon is your intuitive uh, animal self that can nurture spirit if worked correctly. And then finally, the rising is your earth, your elements. And by making all three of those in alignment, by focusing, moving from your part of fortune, you bring about success and harmony. If you'd like to learn more about those details, like I go much more deeply into them in a couple of videos, those are linked below. However, in this specific video, I'm going to talk to you about your third house part of fortune. And I'll begin by telling you a little bit more about the third house in general. So the third house governs close, near, as it were, neighborly communication. So it has to do with relationships with people very near to you. And that, you know, traditionally has meant siblings or people kind of near to you, but not, you know, super intimate neighbors, similar idea. So it governs being able to communicate with a variety of different people uh, in a way that they can understand that eases social uh, tensions and allows you to interact with and just have that moment with somebody to, um, to basically put across your point of view and quite possibly to listen to theirs. The third house in general governs communication. And a lot of times, but not always, perhaps it's because of the people that I talk to, maybe it's, maybe it's the people that I interact with more, but I find a lot that people who have significant uh, features, including the part of fortune in their third house, are oftentimes writers or other communicators uh, because of that. In other words, they're, it's part of their destiny, part of what they've taken on this time to really hone their ability to put forth a, a point of view in a way that others can understand. And that can take a variety of forms from poetry to essays to fiction to nonfiction. So it just depends on many other factors in the chart and you. But in general, communication is a big part of who you are. I want to remind you that all of these part of fortune placements are just telling you where you can focus to maximize your harmony, but in general, you're here to channel the universal will. So it's not really about you. It's kind of an irony because the third house is a personal house. So in other words, you are communicating uh, your personal point of view, and you're also doing it on a personal way to other people. So you're, if you're talking in, in real time, you're listening, and they may be very different from you. So you're becoming facile at meeting them where they are. So changing just enough to kind of meet them. So Mercury governs this house from a modern perspective. Um, and that means Mercury is quicksilver. It's being able to change, to flow, to be able to kind of be with who you're with and communicate with that person as they are. Uh, but again, this isn't about you per se. So even your ego itself is just an instrument for the will of God. So the idea is that it's kind of a kind of an interesting idea because you do want to become very true to yourself and and try to shed preconceived notions about what you want to communicate. You know, you want to be as true to your individuality as you can, while not being so attached to the outcome that you forget that the whole intent of this exercise is the quest to channel universal will through your communications. I hope that this has been helpful. If you do have any questions for me, please leave them in the chat. 